At this moment in time, what are the sources of strength and struggle in your life? At this time, I feel that I am at my strongest in the sense that I feel all of the gifts and training mm -hmm. and, and, and education and experiences that I've been able to gain through my lifetime that it's really bearing fruit. Uh, I feel very strong in that way. I mean, in the sense that I used to be a television reporter and mm -hmm. I've received so much communication training and then I've been, you know, working in the field of poverty and economics and the intersection of all of that through World Bank. And yet now I'm able to really bring that um, really aligned with my identity and, you know, to help uh, the Korean American community. I feel it's a, it's a great strength. Um, even on the personal side, um, as a parent and kind of seeing my kids, you know, going off to college and planning their futures, and also seeing my parents um, and being sort of at this um, generational center point, it's a strength. But I think within all of that lies big challenges for me um, personally and, and professionally that it's going to be a time as I see the next generation coming to um, into their own, how do I find the right role, you know, to really um, contribute and to mentor and to um, help develop, and um, and then you know step aside mm -hmm. and let them do their thing. And at the, and I'm so inspired in that um, way by my parents because I see them; they're older, but they're still vital, mm -hmm. and really thinking and and um, and and contributing to their community, to their church, and to, to us in so many ways. Um, but that, that is the challenge too. Aging parents, you know, young generation, um, sort of evolution of um, family dynamics, professional dynamics. Um, I see that in the next, you know, 20 years. For me, that that is going to be a great challenge, but I'm really, you know, looking forward to it too.